Hi everybody, my name is Claire Curry. I'm a science librarian here at the University of Oklahoma. In today's video, video 11, we're going to start talking about literature synthesis. In this video, we're going to talk about what literature-based research is and some strategies to approach it. Let's hear from my colleague Crystal Bolden, who will introduce literature-based research. Crystal has great experience guiding patrons through the literature review process, as well as teaching and outreach in media literacy. I consider her a great mentor during my time here as a beginning librarian. Thanks, Claire. This is Crystal Bolden, social sciences librarian here at OU Libraries. My pronouns are she, her, and hers. I'm the librarian for the departments of African and African American Studies, Anthropology, Communication, and the Gaylord College of Journalism and Mass Communication. Research is the systematic evidence-based process of discovering new knowledge. When conducting a literature review, you are engaging in the same research process. The purpose of a literature review is to determine the major themes and debates about a specific topic. The literature review also reveals gaps in knowledge and helps provide justification for researching new questions. Conducting original research and completing a literature review are very similar. Both processes are iterative, meaning that you may have to make adjustments and improvements along the way. Both also require critical thinking and creativity. This is demonstrated by the fact that the conclusions of scholarly papers often prompt more research questions. Thanks, Crystal. It's really clarifying to see the parallels between literature-based research and the original scientific process for empirical research. Now that we know how the process works, let's talk about the strategies that Crystal has introduced to us. Like she said, a literature review organizes and synthesizes information about a topic. What are the major debates and conflicts in the literature? What overlaps? What's different? What are the major themes and results? Finally, the gaps in the literature, what aspects of this topic have not been explored. What we'll be covering in the next few videos are how a synthetic literature review can fit in your research program, strategies and resources for finding literature, and library and campus resources for writing. We have a live Q&A for these literature review videos on June 23rd from 3 to 3.30 p.m. Central Daylight Time on Zoom. I'll be joined by science librarian Amanda Schilling and expository writing instructor Robert Scaife, who together facilitate the OU STEM writing group. Registration is required to get the Zoom link, and you can register at libraries.ou.edu slash events and look for the June 23rd event. As always, our videos will be announced on Twitter, as well as on the Data Analytics Visualization Informatics Syndicate listserv. You can view past videos at bit.ly slash OUSTEMYT. Please feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions at all. Thanks for joining us and stay safe out there.